anybody else hotter than the Dickens. Where I'm at, it's muggy and hot. August is always hot and humid. And so we're trying to get through all of that. My hair is falling as I'm speaking to you guys, sticking to me, usually put it up. I don't know why I'm rambling at the beginning of this video. Hello everyone. Welcome into my list of products that I just was so disappointed in and would not purchase again, no matter what. And also the fact that I don't like them. I don't want to just leave you hanging. I want to give you substitutions. So I'm going to give you ones that along with those that I have not liked, I really have liked something else that I possibly have gotten quite recently that I want to be bringing to you. So I hope that a topic like this, where it's by this, not that, here's something that I really didn't like, but here's something that I really do like kind of topic appeals to you. And if you're new to my channel, I want to say welcome to you. And I'm so glad that you're here. And if that kind of content really appeals to you. I hope that you decide to please subscribe as I get tongue tied. Please everybody, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up and if you hit the reminder bell, you will be reminded of every video that I have been uploading recently. Thank you for being here with me, all of my regular subscribers. Before we get into the products, I always get asked what I have on and I'll get asked about the makeup, the lip combo, something, fingernails, rings, something. So all of that will be listed and linked below. Here's a little picture of my shirt that I do have on. Very true to size. It is a slim fit though. So you know that cute neckline, super soft fabric, kind of stretchy. Really love this top. All right, without further ado, here are the products that I did not like and the products that I am loving besides them. From K Secret Collagen Boosting Secret Skin Lotion. This was a sunscreen that I tried and I did not like it. And the hair, there's the hair. Okay, this is the Age Defender. It has hydrolyzed collagen in it. If you watched my skincare videos any time, amount of time, you know that I say the collagen molecule does not penetrate, but a hydrolyzed collagen molecule will not penetrate still for collagen, but what it will do is it will super moisturize your skin. Great hydrator. And this also has a hyaluronic acid complex. So not just sodium hyaluronate, which a lot of people find very drying, but a complex in it. Peptide complex, vitamin A complex, adenosine, and niacinamide. What more could you ask for? Well, we could ask for an SPF of 50 plus. All right, so seeks into the skin incredibly well. However, 10 to 15 minutes after I put this on, my skin feels tight. That was my cell phone. My skin feels tight. It feels dry. And I'm feeling my skin thinking, I've got to go home and put more moisture on my skin. And I was using this for a week, maybe 10 days straight. And I was thinking, oh, it's got all these great ingredients in it. And I, yet my makeup was looking terrible because it was looking, I was looking really dry. And if I didn't use makeup that day, I was thinking, why does my skin feel like it's breaking? It was this. And I finally realized it and I'm like, darn it, because I bought their collagen boosting secret sleeping mask. This one I was using at night and it's the reason that I purchased this one because I thought, hey, again, we have the collagen complex. It was a great hyd hydrator. Panthenol, which is a great hyd hydrator. I cannot talk today, excuse me. Vitamin E capsule vitamin A, adenosine, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. Wonderful complex for anybody that is wanting to like do a one and done type situation. This one I love to use after I've used all of my toners and I love this on top, but I'll tell you that this sun protection is not working for me. I cannot have that dryness on my skin. If you're somebody that has oily skin though, you might really enjoy this, but this one just not for me. So here's my substitution for it. Hamish Artless Glow Base SPF 50 Korean Skin Care. I absolutely love this sunscreen. I really, truly think this is an outstanding sunscreen. Very glowy, beautiful product. If you're just wearing your skincare for the day, you're not putting on makeup, it's going to absolutely look beautiful on your skin. You're gonna have that glow at least for four to six hours, which is unheard of for me. Of course, you wanna reapply your, your SPF 
two hours to three hours, but it really is unheard of for me, even if I'm in the house, to have that glowing, hydrated skin. This one helps to lock everything in, and I can highly recommend this as a beautiful SPF that sits gorgeous underneath my makeup, helps my, make, helps my makeup to look plumped up and not dry. I have very, very dry skin. So this is a gorgeous product. As far as price goes, this is a buy this, not that, as far as ingredients goes. Now, the one that I'm going to show you in a minute isn't super expensive, but it's more expensive than this. Ulta Beauty's Facial Setting Spray Broad Spectrum SPF of 50, water resistant, dermatologist tested. I don't doubt all of that. However, what I do not like about this is that it has denatured alcohol in it and that's just drying and I don't care if you have oily skin or not It's just drying now if it's super humid where you are like it is for me and you have oily skin You might like something with a little bit of alcohol in it Don't want to you know say that too much because I get in trouble from all the skincare people for me in reapplying it over my makeup I don't want my makeup to look drier because I'm already dry in comes this sample I was sent from naked Sunday and Naked Sunday is the SPF people. But what they do is sunscreens and they do them well, whether it's a sunscreen that you want that is mineral based or whether it's one that sinks in really well and it has the chemical based or if it's something that you want to wear over top of your makeup like this, this has a super, super fine mister on it. I can reapply this 10 times during the day and it not disrupt my makeup whatsoever. I also, love the fragrance on this. Yes, it does have a tiny bit of fragrance, not one that's going to last or stick around. But if you are sensitive to fragrance, please know that. Also just the essential thing we need to do throughout the day to reapply our sunscreen for anti-aging. I mean, if you're using all the serums in the world, if you're not using a sunscreen, why? Why are you doing anything? Because we just don't realize what that sun protection does. UVB and UVA rays are so damaging to our skin. And it starts way back in childhood and it is a cumulative process. So protecting our skin every day, several times a day, especially if you're out in the sun all day, is so essential. So easy way to reapply. Yes, a little bit more money, but not by much. Urban Decay's All Nighter Hyaluronic dewy setting spray that's actually what the packaging says is that is a hyaluronic watermelon fruit extract long lasting makeup setting spray i am really not happy with this the first thing i thought is that it was going to be a dewy setting spray or one that was a hydrating setting spray but it's not it's not hydrating at all and as i looked at the ingredient deck the third or fourth ingredient is denatured alcohol. Again, I cannot use that on my dry mature skin. This is a big no-no for me, even though they suck you in with saying it's got hyaluronic acid in it, so it's gonna be really great for your skin and it's not gonna do the same thing as the other product that we know has tons of alcohol in it to save our makeup. Well, yes, it's going to set our makeup all day long, but it's going to be counterintuitive in that it's not going to make our makeup look good. So if you want makeup to last all day, yes, this might be great for you. But at the same time, if you have skin that's super dry, it's not going to be. But I will tell you that I did get and test the Morphe Continuous Mist Prep and Set Mist. And this one is, let me get my glasses, supercharged with ceramides and antioxidants. Now, as I read through this, this does not have any alcohol, denatured alcohol in it. So it's not the drying alcohol. It has a bunch of great ingredients in it that do help keep your makeup in place, but they are derived from other things other than alcohol. So it's not drying. The other thing that is, if you have seen the original mist, this is a super fine mist that you can put on your face and it is not going to disrupt your makeup at all no droplets whatsoever you could put this on three or four or five times a day and it still make your makeup look beautiful because it doesn't have any alcohol in it so i'm so glad about that the mist on it is fabulous and i definitely wanted to tell you about that i was also sent this product from smashbox this is the halo healthy glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer broad spectrum spf of 25 and I was excited about this. This one that was sent to me is in light medium. Super excited about it because I love a tinted moisturizer. Usually they will even out your skin a little bit. You know, they have enough of a tint in them that they can make your skin look just a little bit healthy, you know, without a bunch of coverage in there. 
but I need a little bit of coverage because I have a lot of discoloration through this area right here, hyperpigmentation. The older I get, the more I get it. I don't know why, but I need a little bit of coverage. As soon as I put this on, the moisture is there uh, and I can tell that it's going to be nice for moisture, but there's absolutely no coverage there. I don't know why I wouldn't just use a regular moisturizer or a regular SPF instead of something buying something that's specifically tinted if I'm not going to get any benefit of evening out my skin. So as far as I'm concerned, this was not a great one for me. However, Catrice recently launched this one. It's called New Drop Tinted Serum Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin E. I have mine in 030C or cool. And this one Oh my word, this one from Catrice has that tiny bit of coverage, still has the moisture in it, and you still get the, I put way too much on there. I got to dot a little bit of that off with my rag. But at the same time, you're getting the evenness of your skin. Now what I did with it is I took my concealer, spot concealed first, and then I used this on top of it. And I'm in love with this stuff. This is a great one as far as giving that evenness to my skin. It just made my skin look like skin without the heaviness of a foundation and still had the serum benefits. So again, with the vitamin E and the hyaluronic acid. So I really did like it. And you're not gonna be able to tell much difference because I know the lights make a big deal in here, but I wish I could tell you how much more even this hand looks to me than this hand does. This one ha has moisture on it from the Halo Smashbox, but it doesn't have any evenness the way that the Catrice did. So definite buy this, not that in this one as well. Jones Road did send me two of their beauty balms and I was so excited because you know, their whole premise is that Bobbi Brown does not like to look like she has a lot of makeup on. So she uses these balms to just make the it look like a natural product on her. However, what she doesn't say in those ads as she's talking about it is these beauty balms don't look like anything. They don't deposit color. Um, you know, you would think that a beauty balm would have some color in it, especially when it looks like that right there. All right, no, 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 no. Okay, looks like there might be a little bit of color right there. As I use this, I dot a little tiny bit on. Normally that would do my entire cheek area. And then I would just, you know, buff it out tiny bit and there would be something there. Nothing there, nothing. This color is worse. And I don't like these at all. Dot a little bit of it on. I put more than I did the last time. Nothing, no color, nothing. Mm -mm. No, if I'm gonna take the time to use a beauty balm or use something on my cheeks that I need as a blush, cause that's what I consider this to be. I want it to be something that is going to leave some color behind. Not these, they won't do that. I showed you guys last week, maybe the week before, in a products that I love that have stood the test of time type video, these blushes from Moira. After that video, I saw on Moira's website that they had a few more. I went and bought some more colors. I, I wanted to buy like four more colors, but I have three already, this makes six. So I went and I bought these three new colors. Let's just go through them quickly. The lightest color here, these are called the Love Heat Cream Blush. Excuse my shaking. Today I'm having a day, I tell you. This one is called I Assure You. It is the lightest color I have. It's a super light, just kind of a light baby pink color. Really pretty that would be pretty for a highlight color without having any um, shimmer or anything in it. That would be a pretty look. And then the next one is the darkest color I got. This one is I Admire You. Let me get into that one right there. Swipe that one across there. Now see, when I go down here on these and I'm buffing them in, there's still product there. You can still see that I've got some of the color there. That's what the Bobbi Brown did not do. And then this one is called I Fancy You. That's a cute name. That's really cute. I haven't heard that term in a long time. This one is very bubblegum pink color, kind of that color that everybody, I just put that on top of a balm, so it's not gonna show. But kind of that color that everybody's going for right now, that really pretty flush of pink, summertime pink. So why I love these is not only do they look beautiful on your skin when you first put them on, and I've got a little bit on my hands right here from all three of them. So I'm gonna just kind of dab them into my skin here. Not only do they deposit this beautiful amount of color, look at that, just one little teeny tiny dot. 
they get this beautiful amount of color on there but you have the glow because it is a balm it is this gorgeous creamy balmy texture to it but at the same time it's not so creamy or so emollient that it's going to just go away this is what I had on before, and this is what I have on now that I've touched it up just a little bit. These are beautiful. If you feel like you don't like balms very much, liquid blush might be a better way for you to go, in which case I'm gonna show you one in just a second. But I love a cream blush because it makes your skin just look absolutely dewy and supple. And a lot of times it can make you look like you have a highlighter on without having a highlighter on. So I love those blushes from Moira. I think they're outstanding products. All right, wiping off the skin so we can go on to our next one from Maybelline is their Sun Kissed. This is supposed to be like a shimmering blush. And this is the pinky color that they had in there. And so I was like, okay, that's going to be pretty. When I first put it on, I'm like, okay, kind of, you know, looks a lot like the colors, the very baby pink that's going around right now. However, again, as I just tap it out just a little bit, it disappears. And I found that on two of the colors. So I got that kind of baby pink color and then I got another one that's coral. I don't normally wear coral blush, but I wanted to see if it was just me or if it was the actual product. It's a product. There's nothing there as far as pigment goes. And so it's basically, you could use it almost as a highlighter. So you would go over your blush and you would put it on there as a highlighter on the high points if you wanted to use something like this. But when I do liquid blush or cream blushes, I find that they already have that bit of shimmer in there. And so I don't need a product that's extra. So the Lumi liquid blush, this is the Lu Lumi Le liquid blush. This one is so pretty. This one, um, they have the shimmer ones and then they have the cream colors. I would suggest to you that you do the cream colors because in my opinion, they are so much better than the actual shimmer ones. Now this one is quite pigmented. So when I just put a drop on there, you're gonna see the difference in the pigment. It's amazing to me how well these stand up after you buff them in or after you tap them in. So I'm gonna tap this about the same. I'm actually tapping it more than I did the one from Maybelline. And you're gonna see, yes, this is a different color. It's not that baby pink, but at the same time, you're getting a lot more saturation there easy to blend out, a lot more lasting staying power than the Maybelline. So I definitely would say buy this from, from L'Oreal Lumi line than the one from Maybelline. And I'm usually a Maybelline fan. I mean, Maybelline is my favorite drugstore brand, but in this case, I think they really missed the mark on there. This one right here from Too Faced is their lip injections. Have you ever tried this? This bugger stings. It's that prickly, stingy feeling. When I first got it, I'm like, okay, I don't like that. I know that I don't like the stinging feeling that you get from these. And I was like, this is not even comfortable to wear. I, I wanted to like it because everybody's just raving about how beautiful it is. I wanted to like it. But when I got it, I was like, oh, this falls short. Again, I got this in PR. So, you know, if I'm coming and telling you that this is not my favorite product, I'm risking everything. I'm throwing caution to the wind for all of you. <laughs> It's not my favorite product. I don't like stinging in my plumping lip glosses, but I will tell you that the Sephora, it's their voluminous lip product, but it is the max one or the more heavy duty one than the original one they came out with. This one, it's more of a cooling minting, minty sensation and I definitely need, ooh, I need to up, touch up with some powder. Good thing I'm coming up on the next product. This one I love, has that cooling effect has that little bit of a plumping effect without having the stinging in it. I really like that. Now I will say that if you'd like only the cooling effect of a like Buxom, this is a little bit step above this. So it has a little bit more of that product in there that's gonna make you feel like you're getting the little bit of the blood rush to your lips. That's really what these volumizing lip glosses do is get you a lot of blood coming there and your lips do feel a little plumped up because they have more blood to them, which is exactly what they should do. I like this so much better than I like the Too Faced lip, in lip injections. If I have the choice, I'm never ever going to buy a lip gloss that has the stinging effect in it. I'm always gonna go for the cooling effect. So, so much better, like it so much more. Okay, and here we go with powder because I didn't realize how shiny I was. The CoverGirl Clean Invisible Pressed Powder Makeup. Now, I don't like this because it's too heavy. It just, when I put my finger in here, there's a gritty texture to it. I didn't like it at all. It just, it fell short for me. So I was really kind of 
very disappointed in it super drying even a few minutes after i put it on i felt like it was so dry on my skin so definitely not for me however i do like this physician's formula i'm putting on a different pair of glasses i have two here multicolored pressed powder this one is in translucent i do like this one very very much it's one that as i looked at it i liked the multi-dimensional colors in here so even though it says it's translucent it's still going to give you the effect of having a little bit of color correcting because there are a bunch of different colors in there and i love what a pressed powder can do for a mature woman i love that it can take down the shine make our skin look perfected without drying us out and that's what this one does i also like they have a mineral one i also like that one too i'll list that one down below this one because as you know mineral makeup can be even less drying than just a regular powder like this so if you're somebody that has uber dry skin you might like that mineral one even better than this but physicians formula has been doing good makeup for a long time haven't they i really do like their line and sometimes you just find a fantastic one i love a good pressed powder and this is just a good pressed powder almost done here everybody igk pick me up Ma maximum lift root boost spray okay i don't find that this does much i do find that it puts a lot of grit in the root of my hair but my hair is so fine and so limp all the time especially as i'm sweating sitting here uh it's not that hot but i'm sweating underneath these lights so it really does fall short for me. However, from Color Wow, and forgive me, I lost the top, both tops. This is the Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. All right, I've told you about this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I think that this is probably the best root lifter on the market. It's a little, it has a little bit of a learning curve to it. And that learning curve is what kind of tripped me up. In the beginning, I was, this is one of the products that was like, I don't like this, let's buy something else. But once I learned how to use it, I was like, okay, I'm excited about this. You can use this two ways. You can use it on your damp hair and then blow dry your hair and get a lot of lift. Or you can use this on second day hair, spray it on your roots, hit it with the blow dryer heat a little bit, and you're going to have this lifted vol voluminous hair on your second day. It's going to give you memory in your hair if you, you know, have curled your hair or whatever. The other thing a hairdresser told me, and this was one thing that I was tripping up on that learning curve, is also that you might you need to use a little bit more than you would normally use of a root product you know some root products are so thick that yeah you can use a little bit less but they're going to leave you with very sticky head because they really put the grit into your root of your hair whereas this one doesn't you definitely can tell you have a root booster in there but you're not feeling that heaviness that some so many can weigh your hair down with and I just think this is fantastic. Too Faced came out with their, this is the Appley In Love palette. This you open up, you get that cinnamon apple fragrance from. This is just like their old palettes were. The chocolate palettes, the peach, going back to the peach palette. Just like those with the fragrance on them. And I kind of think that's nostalgic for a lot of us because when we started into this whole big journey of YouTube and the influence that we get from these different ones that they really loved that and it was a great aesthetic but i think that we need to look at the overall theme of the palette and we need to think am i going to wear those colors for me as an influencer i was so excited to get this and then i realized after i got it home i can only wear maybe four colors in here because even the colors that i thought i could wear like perhaps that that was a neutral that is so orange that's like an orange orange brown not just a little bit okay i can buff that in and make it work it just didn't work and then some of these other ones that i thought were going to be reds they're rust and so i like the consistency they've still kept their consistency in here their shimmers are nice there's a couple that are more along the lines of you know little topper type thing in here where you're not getting as great of a shimmer as you might have from the older what formulas they're trying to vary that, which is fine. A lot of people love that kind of stuff. As a matter of fact, I think that would even be pretty if you just put it across your eyelids. Yep, it's pretty. So I like this palette as far as it has great formula, but for me, it was just the tones of it. It just, it fell short. And even though I love the thought of having this in my collection to compare it for you guys, I think that if you're looking for something that is going to be everyday use, and your more cooler toned, you might want to look into these. These are new from, from Revolution Beauty. These are the 12 pan palettes. 
but I'll tell you why I'm pretty darn excited about these. Do you remember when Makeup Revolution first came out and they had this beautiful formula and then they changed the formula? I think that they're back to having a pretty formula. I am super surprised. I am super surprised at how much I like this formula. I am super surprised at how much I'm enjoying their matte formula. Not patchy, smooth, easy to blend. I've come out with a super great color story in these as well. And then down here on the end, they've also come in each of these palettes with the cream as well. And these little sticky things on here are kind of worthless because they're going to fall off. But what's great about the creams that they have put in here, they're pretty darn saturated as well. So I think that they have come across having really pretty substitutions for these high-end palettes. And guess what? If you bought all three of the color stories, you would still be almost half of the price of the Appley palette. So I showed you a little bit of the color story in that one. Let me show you the other two color stories on there. This one is probably the warmest color story of all of them, but it does have these kind of golden greens in there, which are beautiful as well. And I'll just swatch that one for you. Look how pretty just a really beautiful shimmery kind of dual chrome gold with green in there. And then this one right here is another, I was really surprised. This is another very, very creamy one. Um, this is a coppery color. Um, I think that is so beautiful. This one reminds me of a Huda Beauty palette. It's got all these different textures in it. Then you're getting just gorgeous mattes. And yeah, I really think that this is an exceptional color story and I really do love the new formula that they've put in here and again you get two creams on here this one right here this one looks like a chocolate and a cream I'm not going to take off that plastic on there but know that they are very saturated like these ones are and then you have the color story of the pinks and the purples in this one and you're getting right here you're getting a dual chrome color as well I love it when they put those dual chrome colors in there and they look just so beautiful on your eyes. I just think they're so pretty. Let's see if I can get a really good swatch of this one because I wanna show you how beautiful that duochrome is. So nice. The shimmers in here are bold and beautiful. There is one topper in here. I can use this one that's pink as a topper. And then again, down here, we've got some beautiful neutral on the cream. You've got a very uh, beigey cream color down here, and then you've got a very kind of warm chocolatey. Actually, it's not really on the warm side. It's more on the side of being neutral. So it's not too gold and it's not too gray. It's that really beautiful sweet spot in between. Let me just clean my fingers and I'll swatch for you. I really want you to see how nice they did. I almost dropped it. How nice they did a job on these creams. They did a really good job on them. I like them. They're very creamy. So you could use that as an eyeshadow base and then you could use it as your liner, and then you probably would have to go over it because they are quite emollient. I would think that they're more along the lines of an eyeshadow base or a cream eyeshadow that you would just kind of touch up with just a little bit. They're so pretty, and I just can't get over that they finally went back to a formula that we're all gonna love again. I'm hoping that all of their palettes from here on in have this formula in them again. I'm so glad that you spent this time with me. I know that you all have brought, bought products in the past, that you just look at and you go, oh my gosh, I can't believe I bought that. So I hope that I help you to avoid some of the products that I bought. I really am kind of going, eh, I wish I hadn't have done that. But you can avoid them and possibly get something that is so much better, might be way more cost effective, and it's definitely going to be more effective on your skin. So if there's anything like that that you have recently run across, let me know that down in the comment section. Do you agree with some of these or do you disagree with some of these? I always like to get a discussion going with that as well. Thank you so much for being with me. Please come back around as soon as possible in my very next video so that we can be together and have great makeup and beauty discussions. Love you all so very much. Take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye, my friends.